Hi guys, today's makeup tutorial is going to be using some products from MAC's new Champagne collection. I got quite a lot of stuff from it, it's my favourite collection MAC's released for ages, so pretty chuffed. Before I start, I've got a couple of things to say. First, I want to say thank you very much to Immy the Nerd. I'll put her username in the down bar. Bless her. She um, mentioned me in one of her videos and seriously, I've had like 100 subscribers in one day, which is a record and I'm just really, really grateful. Thank you so much. Oh, I miss this. You can't see me doing my thumbs up anymore. I'll just do it up here instead. Also, I'm going to keep skin products to a minimum today because I don't know if you can see my skin, but it's awful. Like, I've been trying out some new face creams because of the dryness and I think I've had a reaction to one of them and my skin is just really blotchy and really sore so it's not great but I'm going to have to deal with it and just try and sort it out best I can. Yeah, I mean my, my skin's not perfect normally but it looks awful today. Anyway, let's start. Okay, so it's up to you what you want to use to prime your eye. I'm going to use a MAC Pink Pot from the collection. This is called Chilled on Ice and it's like a creamy colour with little gold bits in it. It's gorgeous. Now I'm going to zoom you in. Okay, so here we are. I finally got it at a decent eye height. This is just a concealer brush um, I got with my Benefit Big Beautiful Eyes kit. And I'm just going to use that to prime along the eye. Oh, this paint pot is a gorgeous colour. I have read reviews in places like um, Temptalia and stuff, which I watch a lot of the time, that said that these paint pots are a little sheerer than usual ones, but this colour is gorgeous, so I'm not complaining. I'm also lining underneath. Well, not lining, but you know. Priming, that's what I meant. Save time. I'm just going to take some on my finger to do this bit. And then I'm just going to rub it in. I apologise, I know the state of my eyebrows aren't exactly perfect, but I am trying to grow them back out after they were waxed into oblivion. So yeah, bear with, bear with. I've got to admit, actually, sorry, I'm just going to prime the other eye now, quickly. Um, these paint pots, I feel more creamier than my usual ones, which I do actually really quite like because I sometimes find the other ones that they dry so quickly that it's actually really hard to blend them out. I've done a slightly messy priming on this side but it's fine. I'm then taking MAC's Caviar Dreams eyeshadow quad and this in it has got Brulee Retro Spec Etou Bouquet. My French pronunciation is awful. And Caviar Dreams. Brulee is a satin, Retro Spec is a luster, Etou Bouquet is a frost and Caviar Dreams is a luster. Colours are like this and I am going to take Brulee as the base colour all over my lid. Let me uh, zoom you back in. For quick application, I'm taking a MAC 227 brush. And Brulee's really just going to be my base colour. And I'm going to pop it all over my eye. As you can see, the paint pot underneath is nice because it gives Brulee, which is quite a matte colour, some shimmer. But not too much. Quickly do the other eye. Now taking MAC 239 with the Retro Spec, which is this colour here. No, it's not. It's this colour here. It's reversed on this camera, I don't like it. Then I'm just going to apply this to my lid. This is just quite a shimmery gold colour. It's quite similar to the um, pink pot actually. Make sure you get it there and press it right in at the lash line. I'm also just going to take some of that here. Underneath my lash line here. That's not helpful as it's in here, but you know what I mean. So as you can see, just got something like this. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. I'm then going to take this as a MAC 217 and we are going to blend this baby out in the crease. But we haven't really got into the crease anyway, so it doesn't need that much. I'm then going to take a babe of a brush. This is the LY38, I do believe, by Louise Young, only I have it upside down. And I'm first actually going to use this like a pencil brush. It's a bit bent. I accidentally bent it. I don't know how. And I'm taking some of the pink, 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 here you are. Uh, this is the Etouble thing. Okay, and I'm going to put that in the inner corner, lightly, to act as a bit of a highlight. Actually, I've changed my mind, right? I'm taking the 239 from MAC, Boom. with some of that pink colour on, and I'm going to just put it here in the inner corner, quite thick, for a pop of colour. And then I'm going to go to my LY38, take the darkest, this grey colour here, which is Caviar Dreams, hence the um, palette's name, I do believe. And I am going to put that gently through the crease. 
I'm doing quite a light look with this because it's quite pale colours. I'm not going to go too heavy, but honestly, you can just adapt it for your own thing. I'm just connecting here at the outer V before taking my 217 and just blending that in the crease. And you can just keep building it up, really. I'm not really going for a particular shape with this. I'm just going to sort of keep it quite natural. Well, not natural, but not like really in your face, if you know what I mean. Like I said, it is personal choice. I do have school in a minute. I don't really like going to school with like loads of makeup on. I'm now just going to do the other eye. These colours are really nice. They aren't the most pigmented. They're not really strong, but I quite like that in a way. It makes it more wearable. I love the colour retro spec. It was one of the reasons I got this quad because I've been wanting to get it anyway. You don't have to wear these colours together. I'm just showing you what you can do with the quad, really. Some people might not like mixing like silvers and golds. As sometimes I can be a bit funny, but who cares? <laughs> Going back to the 239, taking some of that darkest colour, the Caviar Dreams, underneath the eye. I've decided actually what I'm going to do to add a pop of colour is take the pink colour and just using my Louise Young brush, take that up the inner corner of the crease, here. Blend it. Ah, oh, beautiful. I could do more, really, eyeshadow-wise, but this is it. School's such a problem. I just can't wait till I leave. Right, I'm zooming you out because I don't really like you being so zoomed in. Oh, nice. What eyeliner to yours? I'm going to do more of a gentle eye. Um, I have got Max Feline, which is great, but I think I'm going to put I Get No Kick, which is this shimmery colour. It looks like this. So it's quite flesh toned. Go for another zoom in. Let's do the side first. I was having a little play with this earlier and I did find it's really good but it sort of does need to be warmed up a bit. It is coming out but you can like see it here but it's just quite hard to get it to come out properly. Now I'm going to quickly do the other eye. I do realise that some of you will want a stronger liner for your eye. I totally get that. And you can use black. Also in the collection was um, Feline. It's quite annoying that you can just see my eye actually now. I better finish the eyes quick. Alright, I'm going to use this. It is a chromographic pencil in NC15 NW20. Basically I'm just going to put that in the inner rim to brighten and lighten. You can of course use I Get No Kick. But I'm going to use this because I don't really like shimmery things near my eye. Goodbye redness. I'm zooming you out so you get to see the full effect of my horrible appearance. Curling the lashes. I've got the most annoying eyes in the world. Eyelashes even. They just won't curl. I'm going to use this new mascara that I got for Christmas. It is the Clinique High Impact Mascara in 01 Black. But you can use any black mascara. Because these are luster eyeshadows, they are pretty bad for fallout. This is why I did the eyes first. I'm just applying a face cream of my choice underneath my eye where I just removed it. Make that all over my face, really. It's especially dry over my top lip here, which is not amazing. I look like a scaly fish or something. Boom. So you just rub the babies in, like you so. Try not to get it in your hair. You might not even need face cream. If you've got slightly oilier skin, primer maybe. Or maybe you just like using the primer anyway. It's very important though to use a lip self. This is just a Blistex one. Put it on your lips so they do not get dry. I'm now going to apply a foundation. Probably on my cheeks only. Obviously my skin's in a mood. I'm going to use a Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. I am going to put a blob on my hand like so. Take a MAC 187 which needs a wash can I just say. And then just apply to the cheeks. I'm just Starting by stippling it on. Stipple, 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 stipple. This foundation smells lovely, by the way. Other side, stipple, 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 stipple. On makeup. And then I'm just going to blend that all out on my face. Try not to get hair stuck to it. We would like to conceal now using the Cura Concealer. Again, I don't think there was a um, concealer that came out in this collection or anything. So just conceal where you want to conceal. So for me, it's just under the eye and over the cut. Oh, it's stinging. I'm going to take a brush. This is just an old eyeshadow brush and simply blend it out. I'm here underneath my eye just dabbing over the concealer as it gives me more of a coverage. If you're covering any spots or anything with concealer, what I'd recommend is starting with underneath your eye first and then doing any spots otherwise you're just spreading it 
around the face. I'm taking some of the Natural Collections Loose Powder and I'm just dusting it on my fan brush. And I'm going to put that over the forehead, down the chin and down the nose. Because we don't really want a shiny nose. Also just going to do a tiny wee bit on my cheeks. Just on my cheekbone bit. Well, wherever I'm going to apply brush because in a minute I'm going to use one of the things and yeah. Things isn't a great description, it's one of the things from the new collection. This, whatever it is, the wrinkly thing. Can I just say sitting on the floor for this long is giving me a really numb bum. I want to keep this look quite natural so depending on yours you could just leave them. I'm just going to brush mine through to neaten them up slightly. This one looks a bit like a sausage at the minute. I am trying to grow it back. At the minute we have the start of what I call a tadpole brow and I'm not loving it at all. I'm taking just from the Benefit Big Beautiful Eyes Kit this light brown which I used to do, well dark brown, that I used to do my eyeshadow all the time. Eyebrows, what am I talking? I'm going to have to use this MAC 266 instead. I just put some eyeshadow on. I'll give her a zoom. And I'm just going to fill in the front of them because they're awful. They just seem to decide that they're not going to grow anymore, which is, you know... Oh, that's a bit thick here. This one's by far the worst one. It is the tadpole brow. I'm never trusting my eyebrows in the hands of someone else again. We now look at them. They have, like, no shape whatsoever. Right, I've decided that this will do because they look me anyway, and I'm in a hurry. But that's not the attitude, people. I am then taking the wrinkly thing. What is it? It's a it's a highlight power powder in I think this one's Rose Ole. Yes it is. And I got this one because it's like a light pink and I thought, well, I can use it as a blush as well. I did quite like the other one, but I think it was too gold for me. So here it is, wrinkly rose ole. What am I gonna use to apply it? I'm gonna use this. Get off my brush. I'm using this MAC. 168 small edition brush and I'm going to put some of the wrink in the wrinkly stuff put the brush in the wrinkly stuff that is um I, I don't know why I keep calling it wrinkly stuff highlight reserve powder whatever it's called and I'm gonna put it down my cheekbone and this is gonna be both like a highlighter and a blush for me two birds with a one stone please don't take it too far in towards your nose there's nothing that looks worse really well there is but you know Booyah. And then finally, get out the way here, you're really annoying. We are going to take a lipstick. That's not finally, we're going to take a lipstick now. It's not my final step though. Oh no, oh they're here. I thought I'd lost it. I have cramp in my foot. Sorry, I've just been talking a load of rubbish this tutorial. The lipstick I am taking is Quiet Please. It's like the pinky one, but it doesn't look very pink. But it's, it's grim outside, like, it's just making everything look horrible. So we have nice lips, LV lips. Take uh, the lipstick. Don't get it on your teeth like I just did. This is quite a sheer lipstick. And that I can still see my lip colour underneath. I have dry lips, so using something like lip arrays or concealer or something is going to make them look minging. The final thing we are going to do is take... A lip jelly. This one is in scintillation. And, 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 we are going to take on finger or brush, depending on how neat you are. I'm just using my finger. And we're going to apply for a shimmery, ethereal look. It's fine, just sting the eczema above my lip, why don't you? Okay, something's flashing at me on the camera now, so I think I should probably finish. But, um, thank you for watching. I'll zoom in quickly. So we have natural algon eyes and then just a really pretty light shimmery lip sorry I can't zoom in on that but the eczema really is minging you can sort of see the redness of it here yeah and then just a neutral blush not just nice skin well if you're not me and just like a neutral eyebrow and by neutral I don't mean like not a lime green eyebrow but I mean like a normal eyebrow now as much as I would love to stay in chat school beckons but I will be back to Nothing like going out the lines, is there? I will be back to edit this later and film a lowdown on the champagne stuff that I have. And also some from the Mickey 
contractor I think it is range. I only got two things from there. They're cool. Without much further ado, adieu. Ciao ciao.